Number 22, at what distance is the electrostatic force between two protons equal to the weight of one proton? Okay, so basically all we have to do, so let's just set up what they're, let, let's create a math equation right out of what they're saying. So they're saying that the electrostatic force has to be equal to the weight, right? So they're saying that the electrostatic force F sub E should equal the weight of one proton, okay? Now the electrostatic force, we've gone through that in this chapter, right? We can expand on that now. The electrostatic force is simply the uh, electrostatic constant K multiplied by the absolute value of the product between the two charges, right? Divided then by their separation distance, R squared, or the distance between them. And that will then equal the weight now of one proton. So how do we find the weight of something? It's simply equal to mg, right? So the mass of a proton here times then gravity. All right, now what are they asking? They're asking us at what distance are these things equal. So literally all we have to do is just solve this for R. Move it out of the denominator on the left to the numerator on the right. Move this out and down. And look, all we got to do is now take the square root of both sides, right? Whoops. All we got to do is take the square root of both sides. And voila, here's our formula. Get rid of the square. <clears throat> and now it's just plug. Plug in. Plug and chug, right? So here we got the uh, absolute value. So it's going to be now 8.99 times 10 to the 9th, multiplied now by Q1 times Q2. Now, what are we talking about? A proton. This is, these are values that you're going to have to memorize, probably, or you'll be given them, but you should be doing enough practice where they're just memorized by doing problems, basically. right? The, the charge of a proton is going to be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. And I'm going to do that again because there are two of them. Okay, let's expand that. And then divide that now by the mass of a proton. That again has to be memorized. It's 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27th. Multiply them by 9.8. That's all equal to R. And let's find it. So we got the square root. 8.99 times 10 to the 9th times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. That's essentially squared. And then divide that now by parenthesis 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 times 9.8. And we get a distance here of about 0 0.1, 119, I guess. 119, that's good enough. Or 1.12, whatever. And that's going to be in terms of meters. All right, so that will be the distance where the uh, electrostatic force totally balances then that, that weight. All right, guys, so thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Have a great day.